in this question the function will be just the left hand side this is will be the, our function so let's assume the function fx be 4x cubed minus 6x squared plus 3x minus 2 to apply the intermediate value theorem we need to show this function is continuous on the closed interval that contains 1 2 okay not not that this function f is a polynomial so it's continuous everywhere that means from minus infinity to plus infinity so certainly in this closed interval containing 1 2 so i would write f is continuous on negative infinity through positive infinity being a polynomial so f is certainly continuous on the closed interval containing 1 2 okay next we want to show we want to evaluate the function f at 1 and at 2 so f1 and f2 okay we want to show this equation has a root inside 1 2 so root means this function takes the value 0 so one of the values should be bigger than 0 and the other should be less than 0 let's see f1 means just plug in 1 for x so 4 times 1 cubed 4 minus 6 times 1 is square 6 plus 3 times 1 3 minus 2 4 plus 3 7 minus 6 and minus 2 minus 8 that's negative 1 which is less than 0 okay so we want to have you have to bigger than 0 let's see you have to just plug in 2 4 times 2 cube 2 cube is 8 8 times 4 32 minus 6 times 2 is squared 4 times 6 times 4 24 plus 3 times 2 6 minus 2 32 plus 6 38 negative 24 minus 2 negative 26 that's 12 which is bigger than 0 okay if you want to relate this to the theorem uh, that's the k this is the k value we don't need to okay that's the k value and k is in between f1 and f2 that means this function satisfies all conditions of the intermediate value theorem thus by the intermediate value theorem the equation the function setting function equals zero the equation has a zero that means the function takes the value zero on okay on one two